That ought to be enough. <laughs> That's what we call going out with a bag. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the Wasteland biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. All right, so in this episode, um, the plan is that we are going to hit one of the skyscraper libraries, because we're looking for a few more schematics. Uh, the silencer and the steel crossbolt uh, are among two of the ones that we really need. Um, and so I took... Um, I took this uh, another quest from the trader, and it's Skyscraper 2 is what the quest says, and in looking at this, I think that is, in fact, the the library. I'm pretty sure that it, it is, so we're going to go uh, check that out, because if we can kill two birds with one stone, of course we will do so. Um, so this is a Tier 5 clear. We are going to have to kill everything in the building, uh, but we successfully uh, did that in the last episode with the hospital, and... Um, um, you know, we did, we did a lot better than I thought we were going to, so looking forward to that. Uh, a couple things real quick before we get started here. Um, I've, I've made a whole bunch of armor-piercing 9mm rounds. I have more making up in there. So we're going to start using those. I might even, I don't know, I might even end up selling some of these. We'll see. And I bought some more cross uh, steel crossbow bolts off of the trader. Uh, so we have a stack of, of irons and 89 steels, and we can recover a lot of these, so... You know, that's going to be super useful uh, for us. Okay, let's grab... Do we have any more lamb in here? Large beef chicken. Okay. Well, we still have nine lambs, so that, that should be good enough. And, um, yeah, I guess that's it. So we're good on food and drink, and I think we're ready to go. So I will see you guys at the skyscraper, and we will knock it out and hopefully find the schematics we're looking for. All right, it is indeed the bookstore skyscraper. That's fantastic. Okay, um, let's go ahead and double loot because I know where the loot is. It's at the very top of the of the skyscraper, and then we'll start it. Uh, start it for realsies. Got a snake. Show sure enough. So yeah, we're looking for the silencer, and we're looking for the steel crossbow bolt schematic. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, nab this stuff without attracting any attention. Uh, let's put our luckies on, too. Oh, I guess we already have our luckies on. Do we? Let's double check. Yes, we do. Okay. All right, we got another green compound bow. Some ammunition. There we go. Shotgun Messiah Volume 5. Shotguns have 20% less degradation. All right. That's something new. Not exactly what we were looking for, but we will take it. And now let's go ahead and try the main chest here. All right. So purple military leg armor. Uh, it's actually two points less uh, than ours, our current, with light armor rating, but it does have one more resistance, a little more durability. But I don't think that is enough to uh, replace it. Are we wearing purples? No, we're wearing blues. The one advantage, though, of course, that this would give us is it would give us an extra mod slot. But we'd lose two. We'd, we'd lose two armor rating in the process. I don't know. I'll think about that. I'll think about that. Okay. I'll meet you guys down below, and we'll start the quest for real. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get this tier five quest. Clear quest started. So we're going to kill uh, two zombies with one bolt. Wow, look at all the red dots that just showed up. Uh, by doing this, and, um, you know, get the quest done, and also get, hopefully, 
get those commandments that we're looking for. <coughs> Excuse me. The good news is <coughs> there are, I don't know, four or five-ish of these uh, bookstore skyscrapers in this mega city. So we have, you know, that many chances, not including redoing the quest over uh, to find what we're looking for. So um, the other thing too is the uh, the first tier five quest that we did in the hospital, and it took me forever to edit that thing because it was just, you know, it took so long and I needed to chop it up so, so I could get it down into, you know, to two videos. So I think what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do have less commentary as we do these tier 5s uh so that I that way you know we can we can use more time lapse. So uh you know just so you guys kind of know that's kind of what I have in mind just because you know um they they just take a really long time and I you know I don't want to put out you know like hour long videos each time you know multiple hour long videos each time we do a tier 5 quest. So the plan will be, you know, that we'll, you know, I'll minimize the the talking, and, and then when I do st say stuff, we'll we'll go back into normal, normal time mode. Uh, but there's going to be, you know, more more action, more sped up action, and a little bit less uh, jabber jabber as we, you know, as we continue to do these tier five quests. Okay, so that being said, I'll shut up and let's get started. Where the hell did that guy go? <clears throat> it's like he didn't even know where it came from. We got an Edgar walking around outside too. Um, where did he go? He's over there banging on something. We gotta kill him because, you know, this is a clear quest. Did he run outside? He must have run outside. Okay, um, well here, let's deal with this irradiated little girl zombie here. Irradiated, uh, Marlene, Arlene, Arlene, I think is what her name is. There we go. Got her with a triple shot. Okay, so we gotta, we gotta take care of this white wherever he's at.
So we took care of both of the whites. Um, you know, that we need to do for the quest. I think the zombie outside is just an egger. So we're not too worried about him. Did our crossbow bolt just drop down to the floor? Oh well, don't worry about it. Okay, so uh, I think that's it for this floor. Let's continue on. Whoa! <laughs> that was like close. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's see what we got. Uh, motorcycle handlebar schematic. We don't need them, but we'll read them. Already know that. Already know that. Let's read this too. Okay, we got a little something something for these guys. Uh, let's use this, since these since we have them. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh shit. How many guys did we just attract? Can we put that? Ah, uh, lots. Okay, that stupid trash thing's in the way. I should have removed it first, but that's okay. That's why we have machine guns. Splatting them heads. That all of them? That worked out pretty well. Oh no, we destroyed the ammo bag. Dog on it. <laughs> oh well, it was worth it. reaching for my spear and I didn't have it in my hand. That didn't go so smoothly. Uh, 
Oh no, we just threw that stuff away. Oh, all right, he pounded us pretty good. Let's take a, a big medipack. What do we got? Nice start of volume four. At night, when the adrenaline is rushing, you will never feel the weight of your burden. It's never uncovered at night. Okay. Doesn't really matter to us, but what the hell, right? Man, there are a lot of red dots up here. Goodness. Got a bunch of Zekers to kill. We were actually looking for that. I, I did find a, a grave digger, uh, the actual mod uh, that I bought off the trader, but now we can actually make it in the future if we need to. That was one of the things we were looking for. Not the most important thing, but it's a step in the right direction. Take the chili for chili dogs and the smoothie. I don't think we, oh yeah, we got dog food there too. I don't think we need any of the rest of the stuff for 
our advanced recipes, so I'm just going to leave them there for conserving space. Inventory space. We're going to have to make a drop test here pretty soon anyway. All right, let's see if we can um, finish off this glowing big mama without uh, waking everybody else up. Got uh, four of our steel crossbow bolts back. Uh, you know, that guy's armored. Let's just hit him with a steel. That way we can be pretty damn sure we're going to kill him in the first shot. All right, this is the room that's going to have most of the books in the building. Okay, it is morning, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and put our nerdies back on. And I'm going to turn the gamma up so you guys can see on the video better. Uh, let's let's bump it up one above default. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. It's a little little dark, but it'll it'll get a little bit brighter as the as the morning progresses. I always wondered why this particular room is filled with construction workers. Seems a little odd. Uh, we're gonna go through and and finish off all of the baddies before we loot the bookcases too. By the way. Okay, so it looks like that takes care of everybody in this immediate room. Let's switch to Lucky's here. And start hitting the bookshelves. Alright, Night Stalker Volume 7, do an extra 50% sneak damage to sleeping victims at night. Oh man, that's awesome. Fifth, extra 50%, that means we're gonna do... <clears throat> oh, and we got it, guys! We just got the Night Stalker bonus. Uh, cutthroat, sneak attacks with knives at night. Oh man, that's cool. So, um, boy, I don't know, we might have to consider this, because I decided to go you know, with spears as our melee weapon. <coughs> but, um, you know, the only, the only thing about that is that I don't really do sneak attacks with melee. I'm, you know, I'm using my crossbow for most of that. And later, you know, when we get um, uh, the silencer, I'll, I'll probably be using the pistol. So I don't know, I'll have to think about that, but this is cool though, because this really fits in, you know, with our build now, um, lot, quite a bit better. Lots of good stuff there. All right, so I'm happy we achieved that. Let's keep on keeping on here. Table saw. All right. There we go, SMG auto turret schematic. We might just put that to use because we've got all those extra, you know, normal nine millimeter bullets. <clears throat> um, you know, and I had originally planned on putting shotgun turrets in at the horde base too, 
But, you know, the explosives were doing such a good job that it, I kind of decided not to do it. But, I don't know, maybe we, we'll make we'll do something with that because we, we do have all the extra, you know, regular 9 mil ammo. Steel armor schematic. All right. If we go back to uh, tank and spank later on, that's going to come in handy. Buster Mod Schematic. Alright. We've got a bunch of those already, but we'll learn it. Okay, we got two new ones. So we got, um, I do 10% more damage to bears. And, oh, okay, so that just dinged us. Uh, that should be the hunter, the hunter one. Yep, Hunter's Journal. Harvest more bones, meat, and leather from animals. Actually, you know what? That's pretty damn useful. Uh, the meat in particular. Well, actually, the bones and the meat, because we're still using that stuff. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. I'll take it. And then uh, this gives us 10% uh, greater hyperthermal resistance. Okay, not particularly important for our playthrough, but we'll take it. What's this? Oh, yes! Okay, you know what this means, guys? This means I can replace some of my triple storage uh, mods with, uh, in fact, I can replace, I think, up to four of them with these and still, you know, continue to be unencumbered, and then we could put other, uh, things in those mod slots on our armor. So I, I was wanting to find this, so fan freaking tastic Awesome, awesome. Okay, that's something we'll have to do, uh, I'll have to do, make off-camera. All right, what do we got here? Uh, you can craft shotgun slugs, okay? And, all right. That's one of the things we could put on our, our helmet. Yeah, uh, I actually have already have those mods, though, but all good, all good. Urban combat, sneaking over trash makes no sound. All right, that's the one we were looking for or, or talking about uh, when we did the hospital. Um, with my build, I don't really need this, but let's take it anyway, of course. We're going to take it. Um, you know, so we can get the, the credit for it. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. I, I thought I had already had that, but I, I, I found out, you know, after when I was editing uh, the hospital video that I didn't. But, I mean, we don't really need it with, with our build, but what the hell, we have it now. And that way, if, you know, if we do decide to switch back to a non-stealth build later, we'll still be able to sneak over trash without, you know, having problems. Machine gunner. Fully automatic fire is more accurate with each shot fired. That is completely the reversal of what happens in real life, but that's okay. We're not complaining. <laughs> ah, all right. Well, we've gone through the main bookstore area, and we didn't find... Well, we did. We, we found uh, the cargo mod, and we found the... Uh, the gravedigger mod. Uh, those were two things that I did actually want. They weren't the main things that I wanted, uh, but I did want them. So, not too bad, not too bad. We're not completely done, but that's gonna that's the majority of the books in this place, because the next floor is not going to have a lot of books. Uh, but we did pretty good. All right, but we're not done with this floor either. we got to continue on. We've got this room uh, to do, and... Um, yeah, there's like an office and then kind of an entry room in there, we'll, which will have a few more uh, crates. Nice. Um, all right, is this blue MP5 or SMG better than this one? Hard to say, because this one's modded up. 
Okay, let's see. So we need to make room. We're at that point where we get, we need a drop chest. So I think I'm going to leave that stuff in there. Um, and here's what we're going to do. Another safe. Good lord. Okay, let's open this one. Boy, I was, uh, <clears throat> I was just gonna go all the way out to the Jeep, but it just occurred to me that that might be too far. Oh my god, there's a bear right there. <laughs> I didn't even see him. It's a good thing he didn't see me either. Um, it probably isn't, because I think the property of this place goes, you know, all the way out to the carports there. Oh, dude, get the hell out of here. Get uh, the hell out of here. Um... But, you know, let's not risk it. I'm just going to build a drop chest and put it right out here on the porch. I'm 90% sure we'll be okay if we went over there, but let's not. Let's not take a chance. You can't get up there, huh? Oh my goodness, look at all the paper we have, <clears throat> and there's still a lot more in here. Um, just so you guys know, by the way, I, I was actually going to mention this earlier and I forgot to. I had uh, Terry Beer, uh, one of my viewers and a uh, friend of mine on Discord, uh, modify this building and turn these back into paper because uh, in vanilla, uh, or with the normal settings, they're, they're all wood. So for whatever stupid-ass reason, the fun pimps decided to turn these paper rolls into wood and um, it just it made absolutely no sense to me so he did that uh, he also added a couple more safes because they had taken some safes out and he added a few more bookshelves uh, in here from what is in the normal POI um, so yeah just in case you're wondering why it seems like I have all of that stuff and you you didn't see that the you know when you guys have run this building that's why and it, it goes back to you know it goes back to, I just don't agree with those changes that they made. Uh, I think they nerfed it too badly, and so... Took matters into my own hands with the help of Terry, of course, and, uh, you know, added some of the stuff back into the building that was originally here. Not necessarily the paper rolls, I don't remember if there was a bunch of paper rolls, but the safes and the, you know, and the... higher quantity of bookcases, uh, that stuff was in here, uh, in the past. So, there you go. Just throwing that out there. I should have put those back on, too. 
Uh, also, I'm not going to harvest all this paper. I mean, that that's enough paper to last us for the rest of this playthrough and then some. <laughs> I mean, good lord, that is so much paper. Um, and I don't know, maybe that's why Flood Pimps decided to turn them into wood, but I, I don't know. The, the, my, my point of view on that is that, you know, it's a lot of work to get into this POI and get up to this floor, and... Um, you know, what they maybe should have done is made some of them wood and some of them paper, but in, in the, you know, without any modification, everything in here, as far as I could, could tell, though, the first time I came up here in Alpha 18, is wood, so. All right, let's move along. The reason I did that jump, in case you guys forgot, is that I've got these. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise I would not have made that jump. Woo, okay, so, um, hopefully we can kill all these guys without waking them all up. Too bad I didn't have armor piercing rounds. I could do a three for right through all three of their heads with the, the sniper rifle. But I think... I think that requires um, bullet uh, armor piercing rounds. So, successive kills increase. No, wait a minute. Uh, no, that's not the one. It's penetrator. Okay, so armor piercing rounds can penetrate three additional targets or a block of up to a thousand hit points when using huntsman or I mean sorry hunting or marksman rifles. So, see, I don't have any armor piercing seven six twos. So we better not try that. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can do it quietly with these. Just like shooting zombies in a barrel.
All right, guys, we're on the roof. Almost done. Almost done. Okay, we got two more. Uh, we got two more zombies up here. We got the cop in front of us, of course. But then there's something off that way too. Uh, let's see if we can sneak around and figure out what it is. Cop's gonna be a hard kill. So I want to save him for last. So. Oh, is this a sleeper? Sure enough is. I thought that, that was a guy I already killed, but apparently not. Okay. Just about stepped on him, huh? All right, so, um... Let's see. Let's do something special for this guy. Make sure everything's loaded here. I'm gonna give him a little... little explosive action. That ought to be enough. <laughs> That's what we call going out with a bang. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll shoot you right in the ass. Okay. That's it. Return to Trader. We cleared the area. Alright guys, let's go take a look and see what's in the fat loots and then it's time to go. <sighs> awesome, awesome. All right. We have no room for any of this stuff. I'll just show it to you, and then I'll, I'll deal with it uh, when I let you go. Um, actually, we got to go back to the trader and do the turn-in, too, so... Okay, so that's... Okay. What's in here? Uh, that'd be all right if I was using stun batons. Uh, okay. Decent stuff, but, you know, nothing... nothing no improvements for us. We have three book, three more book uh, crates, so three more chances to find crossbow bolts and or silencer mod. Not there. Whoops. Yeah, it, that that's got to be a bug, because we already learned Night Stalker. So it's funny that it still does that though, huh? Okay, guys, well, what I'm going to do is get all of this uh, gear down to the Jeep, and then I will meet you over at the trader so we can see what our reward is, and then we'll wrap up this episode. Be right back. All right, guys, I um, I just got all the stuff out of those uh, bags. Um, I forgot, though, there is actually a, I guess you'd call it a secret up here, <clears throat> or a hidden area. Uh, so if you kind of come around the helicopter pad and then jump down into here, and this this has been in the bookstore skyscraper ever, as long as it's been been in existence. Uh, there's a box down here too. I think it's always a shotgun beside a crate too, but I'm not 100% positive about that. We should have had our lucky looters on. Man, I always forget to put them damn things on. All right, what do we have? More shotgun shells and an iron spear. Okay. Okay, let's see uh, what the trader has for us. Great weather we've been having. Gratitude, friend. Iron Reinforced Club for 616 or four... Are you shitting me? Four painkillers? Really? What? <laughs> for a tier five quest that takes like two fucking hours? Oh my god, okay. I, I mean, we're taking this, of course, but I just... That's like so... <laughs> so out of balance. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we get 15,000 XP and uh, over 4,000 Dukes uh, for that. So not bad. Uh, all right, your next job. You've got uh, more fetches and more clears. <sighs> um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I, 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 you know, now that I've seen how this build works, I pretty much we're gonna probably clear the zombies out of every place that we go. 
Um, and clears give you a little bit more than fetches do. So yeah, let's um, let's see. What's this? You, Skyscraper one. I've got work for you. Isn't s I don't know what Skyscraper one is. Let's take it and we'll see. We'll find out. We know Skyscraper two now is is the library. Uh, you know the bookstore that we just did. So, uh. Yeah, I'm Thank not sure you. what one is. I bet you wouldn't do this for just anyone in the wasteland, would you? Let's see if we can tell what that is just by looking at it. That might that might be um, Daishong. I think it is because Daishong's got all of the crap around it. Okay, well <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be a big one. That's gonna definitely be a multi-part episode probably. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. He resets on day uh, 106. Oh, my apologies. And uh, we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.